I started a video earlier, a correction video, and my camera was on, so I'll do it again. I'll have to fake to cutting the branches, though. But what I was trying to say is, you see, there's a lot of bees around here. Lots and lots of bees. But if there's any of you that really want to keep bees, you know, because you love them or whatever, make sure you research, know what you're doing. I, I loved the honeybees since I was five or six years old. Just something I always did. Couldn't afford to do it or whatever until, you know, I was disabled from carpentry. Gave me a chance to do it. That's 11 years ago. Um, I just love my bees. I mean, that's all there is. They're all pets. Each, each and every one of these hives is different to me. They, you know, that's why they get names. They just mean something different to me. But if you're wanting to keep them, research them, look them up, there, there's a lot of work and there's money. Um, unless, you know, like if you can get away with not being like a crazy cat lady, like I've turned into crazy bee guy, you know, and stick with one or two highs, you know, then it's okay. You know, I'm not going to give you numbers on it, but, you know, there, there is uh, cost involved starting one or two highs. But anyway, I did want you to know if you're, oh, oh, well, I want one, but they're dangerous. Well, you can always put a hive in the backyard. I'm going to show you why. Except for me mowing next to these hives, I won't wear my suit anytime. There's no reason to. They don't like the exhaust from the lawnmower, so, you know, that they will get upset about. And when you bend with bees enough, you know that, so you take protection for it. I don't get very stung. Very, very seldom. All these bees, I might get sung once or twice when I'm working inside the hives. Outside here, I've never been stung. Neither of my friends, family, anybody who's come here, barbecue, whatever, nothing. But I'm going to show you right now. I had branches over there, so I'll fake it this time because the other video didn't work. But I'm going to show you something here. Just to turn all the branches over there. You know, here's the way I go around my hot car. They don't do They just don't mind. I got grapes I got to pick. I can come and pick all these and pay them off. They ain't going to bother me. Most part bees won't bother bother you unless you're bothering them. I don't know if you'll catch it what you're looking at. I can walk anywhere in my yard. These aren't the enemy until you go and mess with them. I mean, that's all there is to it, you know. So if you're interested in beekeeping, just worry about the aspect of them being mean or something. When you get up to them, they really do not care until you get into their face. And maybe it's because they know me. I don't know. Some people will say that's true. Some people say, you know, the bees will smell fear. I don't know. I've never been feared of them. I always thought they were cool. And I've never had no issue with my bees, ever. So, you know, I mean, I sit here and I just do this. All these combs out here were from the hives I uh, eliminated. I give them back the honey. That's what they're doing there. Still sucking up free honey. They don't have to go out and look for for flowers. But anyway, I hope this is interesting or makes somebody who really wants to have these but thinking about the dangers about it. You know, oh, I'll get stung. You just seen me a few seconds ago. Still in my t-shirt. This is the way they are every day. Nothing changes. Nothing changes. You don't want to go in on a cloudy day or rainy days or real ornery then. But for the most part, all these little girls of mine, 
Italian queens, or Italian bees, is what they are. Italians. A calm bee. They won't bother you. You can live a daily life just like anybody else. Throw a beehive way in the back of your yard. You wouldn't ever have to worry about it. Make sure you take care of it. I mean, it, it, there is a lot of care to bees. I wanted to emphasize that so much. You just don't take a box and put it in the back. There's, you know, you, there's time invested in it. Just like if you get a cat or a dog, you know. You got to treat it that way. If you can't do that, don't get one. Don't. Make sure you're going to be interested. Read up on them. What the do's and don'ts. You know, some people say I'm probably doing it wrong because I do it natural. But if I see something absolutely killing my bees that's going to kill all my other bees, I'll do something about it. But I haven't had that yet happen in 11 years. So, thank God for that, I guess. But, anyway, like I said, I hope this gives you some, uh, some idea that, you know, having bees, you know, if they're your bees, maybe they do get to know you. These all know me. As you can tell, they don't bother me. So, anyway, good luck, God bless, have a great day.